I am making a whole roasted cauliflower. I'm making beautiful steaks. Um, I'm gonna make uh, ricotta salata and caponata crostinis. And I think that should be it. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Happy V-Day. Happy V-Day. Serafina is painting her um, flower pot. One of her little flower pots that I gave her in her Valentine's Day basket. You know, I should have ordered food too because why the hell should I cook on Valentine's Day? But here we are, guys. Here we are. So I actually roast this whole. I'll show you how I do it. Let me get rid of all this shit first. Yeah, I don't go out on Valentine's Day. I mean, and also if you have kids, who the hell's going out on a Tuesday? Like, my husband don't even get out of work till like 7. Like, I'm going to probably just eat dinner with my kids. Alright, so this is how I roast the whole cauliflower. Could probably use a smaller pot, actually. Let me see something. Does it fit in here? Because that would be perfect. Yes. Too much work and going out with kids at home, let alone a weekday. It's, it's ridiculous. I can't even, I could barely get a babysitter on a regular day. <laughs> Honestly. And I don't really expect someone else to be to stop their Valentine's Day plans for me. You know? No, I'm not Persian. I'm Sicilian. Happy Valentine's Day, Serafina Rose. Happy Valentine's Day. You already said that to me when I woke up. I know. I did say it to you when you woke up. I'm just putting little holes on top of the cauliflower. This is going to be roasted whole. Actually, guys, I don't think I could use this because I have to put this in the oven. And I don't think I could put this in the oven now that we say that. I'm making a whole roasted cauliflower. I'm making beautiful steaks. Let me show you the steaks. They're like actually really nice. Um, and I'm making, what else am I making? Oh, I'm gonna make crostinis with caponata and ricotta salata, which is my favorite cheese. Okay, what pan should we use? You know, when you can't find something. Oh, that ground beef soup, that ground turkey soup, right? And you could really use any, any type of Anything meat. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I wasn't always super positive, so. I love artichokes. Yeah, I don't, I don't like have a babysitter around me and I also don't really have a ton of family that helped me. I mean, they all have their own lives, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know my steaks will be mowing. You know it. My man will cook for me, but he works till seven, so. I mean, I still gotta feed my kids. <laughs> Let's see if I can fit it in here. First, something with a nice cover. Is this gonna work? Oh my god, it might actually work. Okay. So, whole roasted cauliflower, right? You wanna just take out the bottom so it sits nice. And I'm gonna pour 
olive oil on here, salt, pepper. I'm going to put a ton of garlic underneath, onions underneath, and it's all just going to roast together. Um, and you're going to keep it covered for 20 minutes and let it cook and then take it off and cover it. Mom. I'm cooking like steaks, cauliflower, and like little crostinis. Do you like my, my jaw? Yeah, it's beautiful, but is it wet still? A little bit. So why are we touching it? I just wanted, I wanted to show you. It's beautiful, but I think we should let it dry. Look at that. Look at it. Serafina paints it her planter that I put in her Valentine's Day bag. Yeah, I will. I want to show you. That. Of course, in her dress up. Right? All right, go let it dry, though, but. I'm not actually happy with this pan either, guys. I am 34 years old. And trust me, my life has not always been together. Since having kids, it, it's, it's definitely way more put together. <laughs> Thank you. We, I prefer to eat uh, together. Some nights he works later than others. Um, he does work in Manhattan a couple of nights. So those nights, I will wait till like 6 p.m. If he's not home by then, then we eat. But I do prefer to wait for him because I love having dinner together. Even though they're usually chaotic and like I barely even get to enjoy my food because my kids are nuts. But, you know, that's life. Thank you, guys. The arugula salad recipe. It's literally just olive oil, balsamic, salt, pepper, fresh garlic. Chopped really small. That's it. But the, the key is to pour that stuff on the onions first and marinate those onions. This drink is just a little Tito's with, I'll show you. With these suja strawberry guava, uh, guava suja sent me a whole case of these um i'm not getting paid for this guys i just truly love this company um and they sent me a ton of these juices that i would have never even tried on my own like i always used to just buy the green juices um but they sent me all these and like the macros on them are great like no added sugar they're just great and but i've been mixing them with tito's <laughs> I'm an Aquarius. Possibly wine will help my colds. Wine can help anything. Well, I try to make dinner early because I, I don't know if you have kids, but like once the nighttime routine starts, all hell breaks loose. So I'm going to go back to this pan, even though it's way too big for this. Um, but I like the way it sits in here better. Yeah, baby, go ahead. Whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to cut up the aromatics. I'm going to put them underneath. The lemon one is so good. Yes. Oh, my God. I just tried the lemon one the other day. It's only four carbs. And it's like, it's, it's sweetened with stevia, which is a better, you know, sugar-free option. Um, but it's delicious. It has like a little, like a little hint of cayenne in it. It's delicious. And it was super refreshing. Usually you get lemonade like that and it's like full of sugar. So I'm going to put the onions on the bottom of the pan. Also, I'm going to put my oven on 425. Or actually, let's do 400. Uh, let me put some fresh parsley and some fresh basil at the bottom. I'm gonna have to get Mariella soon. I'm telling you, my daughter just like doesn't take naps. No naps. No freaking naps. Mochi Nut and Manalvin. No, but my friend Lauren told me about that place actually. Have a glass of wine, it's Valentine's Day. Treat yourself. And you know what? I like to get dinner done early because first of all, you guys know I'm up super early. Like I'm fucking already exhausted. <laughs> 
Um, but I still need to clean up after dinner. I still need to give my kids baths. I still need to get everything ready for the night before the, you know, tomorrow. So I, I can't be still on dinner at six o'clock. I can't. And this alone takes like 40 minutes. I'm going to put some garlic, like literally just straight in the bottom. Thank you. You seem to be a great wife and mother. So I feel like obviously my kids, I'm a great mom because my kids are fucking awesome. And like I brought them into the world. That's my job to be a great mom. But like my husband, I feel like I'm so good to him because he's good to me. Like if you are treated good, you're going to want to do the same for your partner, you know? I love it too, baby. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, my kid is six months old. Wh where's the naps, girl? I need to get shit done. And then, like, Serafina wants me to play with her. Mariella wants me to tend to her. It's like, when am I supposed to get anything done in the household? I'm putting the lemon. I'm going to ju juice it. And I'm also going to just put the whole lemon at the bottom. Let me get my stock. So let me salt the bottom and then I'm also gonna salt the whole cauliflower. So let me go underneath first. Turn it around. I'll show you what this looks like inside the pot too. Um, and now I'm gonna just pour this. Like, probably like a half a canister. You don't want to boil the cauliflower. Like, you only want the liquid up to, like, the bottom of the cauliflower. I'm going to show you what the inside looks like. Hold on. See, Seraphine is older, so she kind of just, like, entertains herself a little bit. Like... She genuinely wants to entertain herself, you know? This is what it looks like. So all the aromatics are in there. And now I'm going to roast this whole for 20 minutes, covered. Um, and then after 20 minutes, I'm going to take the cover off and let it get colorful, like, you know, nice and brown. What kind of snack do you want, Fina? Because we're going to have dinner in an hour. Yes, I love Cuban food. I love Dominican food, Puerto Rican food. Give me all the Hispanic food. That's uh, so up my alley. I'll show you a snack I want. What snack do you want, Fina? What, what snack do you want? Tell me. I'll show you which one. Okay. Tell me. Thank you. What's your options? Your mom. You tell me. Cheese it. Cheese it or, or popcorn? What about pepper? I don't put a ton of, like, I'll put black pepper on my food at the table, but not that much when I'm cooking, because Mariella, like, basically eats whatever I cook. Um, so I kind of, like, been under-seasoning stuff, so she could have it too. I don't, I'm not a parent that makes 43 meals. We eat what I make. My whole household eats it. Mom, can you open this for me? Yes, baby, we have to wash this, though. I love it. I'm making steaks, I'm making whole roasted cauliflower, I'm making crostinis with regatta salata and caponata. Mom, can you wash it please? Yes, baby. I am definitely gonna get um, a P.O. box. I don't have one right now, but I will have one by next week. 
My kid is obsessed with Cheez-Its, Cheddar Bunnies, Goldfish, any cheesy, savory cracker, sign her up. Did you forget olive oil and pepper? No, I'm not putting the olive oil on until I brown it. I want it to just baste in the chicken stock for now because a whole cauliflower is not going to take five minutes to cook. So you want it to cook like that for 20 minutes. And then once I take the cover off and start putting some browning on it, that's when I'll put the olive oil. And I said I don't put pepper on mostly anything right now because Marielle is eating my food. And she's six months old, so I'm trying to um, limit like the spice. I met my husband online 12 years ago, 11 years ago. Surrender Cafe, I'm going to have to try it out. You know, my husband's not picky at all. <laughs> my daughter, you're so funny. Being pregnant is crazy. Hold on, let me get Mariella. I love weapons, but I feel like they've been overpriced lately. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, if you feel more comfortable giving your child parade, then that's what you do. You know what I mean? Don't let someone else persuade you into doing something you're not comfortable with. Because if you were going to do the baby led weaning, you have to be very calm when they're gagging. Because when you get nervous, they get nervous. And that makes it worse. <sighs> Yeah, ShopRite. Uh, Trader Joe's, actually. I've been, I've been making out pretty good at Trader Joe's, too. Not for nothing. Wegmans has just been, like, I'm not used to shop at Wegmans. Like, when I lived on Staten Island, I would drive to Wegmans. Um, and their food was, like, better quality for the same price. But lately, no. It's super overpriced. I started introducing food five months and three weeks. So, like, a week before she turned six months. She's reading the comments, right? You're so silly. Got an eyelash. You got an eyelash. I love you. She's very tiny. When she was born, she was very tiny. She was in the NICU for a little bit. Um, so she's always gonna be tinier than babies her age because she was she was born tiny. I, oh, um, Hello Fresh I don't do, but I love Fresh, fresh Directs. Love that. I live in New Jersey now. My husband, well, he's bald now, but he did have blonde hair growing up, so I guess that's where she gets it from. The perfect cutlets have to be super duper thin, and they have to have grated cheese in the breadcrumb. I don't put cereal in a bottle now. How did I decide on my daughter's names? I just, Serafina, put your skirt down. I just always loved them. Someone I knew um, growing up, her name was Serafina. And I always like just banked that name. I loved it. And then Mariella, somebody I know is friends with the Mariella. And that's how I got that. Thank you. Mom. Yes, baby Mom, girl. Can you, fill my cup out? you want me to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you bring me Sissy's high chair? Okay. Where? Or do you think, we, we think, you think she would want the walker now? What do you think?
What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. I give you snackies too, okay? Tina, can you bring us some toys? We have been all over today. Like, I, it's impossible to get shit done in the house when your kids aren't sleeping, obviously. I had a volunteer at Serafina's school. That was fun. Long Island's nice. So, I, am I having more kids? Absolutely not. Sebastian Maniscalco, he's, um, I have caught some of him, his stuff. He's funny. Do I know the Nobles? I don't know what that is. I'm from Central Jersey. Thank you. I got that cow at Hobby Lobby. I did have a pig, but I cleaned it with a Lysol wipe and it like took the finish off. So I had to throw it out. All right, my cauliflower is in. I'm making a very easy meal. I'm cooking my husband's chocolate chip cookies because he loves them. I do watch Housewives. I just didn't watch this season yet, at least. <laughs> Raw cookies out. I am making steaks. I am making a roasted cauliflower whole. I am making regatta salata and caponata crostinis. Um, and I'm making these cookies from scratch. You didn't see me take that out of the package. This was from my KitchenAid. And I made this homemade. I had it storing in this cardboard paper. Okay? So if you saw me open up the Pillsbury bag, no, you didn't. Okay, the cauliflower, I'm roasting at 400 degrees, covered for 20 minutes. And then I am going to roast it, like, I'm gonna just broil it. I'm gonna pour olive oil on it and just broil it until it gets the color that I like. Listen, my husband likes the fucking package ones just as much, he doesn't care. So I thought that counts, okay? He's lucky I even got them cooked with these kids. My daughter's school, they put me in charge of, like, the games at this fair that they had. And I'm like, I was sweating. I left there sweating. They, like, put me to work. I don't even know how long I have to cook these. You don't see this Pillsbury bag, remember? Oh, pasteurized eggs. See? Homemade. 350. Well, the oven's on 400, so that's going to have to work. The oven is on 400. Oh. I'll just make sure to watch them. <laughs> what did I do before being a stay-at-home mom? I was working in a dental office. I did their billing. All right, now I have some leftover Italian bread that I'm going to just slice up and I'm going to make crostinis for my husband. So I'm going to slice them up. I'm going to put some olive oil on them, salt, pepper, garlic powder. I'm going to get them crispy. Yes, my husband brought me flowers. I woke up to flowers, candy, cards. I'm doing like a whole Valentine's Day blog. So you'll see that when I do that. Yeah, he's, he's really good to me. My husband, my birthday is February 1st. Christmas just passed. Valentine's Day is the 14th. And honestly, if I want something, I buy it. So, And I just spent a couple of dollars on myself. So he don't say shit. That's my pie. You think it's easy to take care of these kids? Because it's not.
Yo, Pat just caught a mouse. Wow, what a gangster ass cat. Doing its job. Seriously. And you know, I do so much for my husband because he's so good to me. I just want to let you know, if your man is not doing the same shit for you, don't do it. And if you're waiting to get married and he don't want to put a ring on your finger, don't act like a wife. Literally. You're single still. If you're not married, okay, and you're dating someone for like a long amount of time and it's like time, to, it's time for them to buy a ring, live like you're single. They're treating you like you're single, right? Uh, my daughter, I knew she was ready for whole food because she was sitting up unassisted. She was reaching for my food. She was like never satisfied after the bottle. Like there, there's, there's signs of readiness. Um, Google signs of readiness and they'll give you a whole list of shit. And she was doing all of them. First of all, we do so much work and they don't even know what we're doing half the time. Like, do you think my husband, not that he's not grateful. I mean, I'm sure he's freaking grateful, but do you think he is like, he knows every single thing I do in the household when he's gone? No. No. Toothpaste runs out, who replaces it? He runs out of deodorant, who, 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 who's going to replace him? No raises, who gets the raises? Who puts the food in your fridge? Yeah, you pay for it. Okay? But I do the shopping for it. You know what I mean? But that's also something that your man needs to recognize on himself. Like, I shouldn't have to tell you that. You should, you should, you should just see that. You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm just answering my text message. teeth i'm afraid to give her whole foods my daughter doesn't have any teeth yet she's just gumming it the whole foods that you should be giving her just make sure they're super super soft i mean how long have you been, been with your man that he doesn't post you on social media and is he active on social media and he's just not posting you because if he could if he's one of those men where it's like oh i'm never on it i'm never on it but he's posting and liking people's photos like obviously you're on it i'm not a fucking idiot i need to know some more details for baby led weaning, I took a course when I had my first daughter five years ago and I could like refer back to it because I paid for it. I think it was like $60 and the company was fee uh, feeding littles and I could not recommend them more. I mean, why isn't he posting you? I feel like if a man is happy to be with you, he should be showing you off to everybody, right? I don't, I, I don't get it. That sounds so good. If I've been with someone for years and he's liking other girls' pictures, it's like, what, what's the reasoning that you need to like the pictures? I get it. Guys are looking. I get it. They're men. I mean, us as women, we look at men too. You know what I mean? I, I'll, I'll look at a hot guy, whatever. But it's the fact that you're disrespectful enough to, to, to like it. Like, okay, this is nice and keep scrolling. You don't need to like it fucking weird and that's just not normal don't let them tell you it's normal it's not and if he's very active then what's the excuse i'm sorry but that sounds a little shady to me you too right mariella yeah mariella says it sounds a little shady to hot tail mariella said not good girl right mariella Mariella knows best, guys. So I just put olive oil on this side. I'm going to roll them up, flip them over, and season them the same way. 
And then these I'm just gonna get crispy. And then right before he comes home, I'm gonna put some ricotta salata on it and I'm gonna put some eggplant caponata that I have. There's a difference between being secret and private, yes. But if you're active on social media, you're not private. Not really much kept secret on social media. You guys know that. Of course. Track the cookies? <gasps> Almost! Wait, you make cookies? But daddy, yeah. I you don't even that. know how to play with this. Wait till I'm done and I'll teach you how to play with that. You have 40 other things to play with. I want to eat some cookies with daddy. Of course, baby. Can I see? Can I see the cookies? They're not done, bud. But I want to see. Well, I'm done with. Wait, you make cookies? Yeah, for daddy. It's his favorite. Not yet. Thank you. You could be active on social media and be private. I I get that, but if your woman is telling you that she she's feeling a certain type of way because you do post on social media, but you're not posting about me, and I don't need you posting about me every day, but what's a little appreciation post here and then? What's that gonna do? I'm not gonna hurt him. And if it's gonna make her happy, who cares? Um, I am, do I have any pets? Yes, I have a doggie. Right, Mariella? Yeah. No, baby, Daddy's coming home from Manhattan, babe. He's not gonna be here yet. He's gonna be home in a while. You did. Scroll up and read the story. I'm making steaks. Can I open this? Can I open this? Yes. But did you clean up your other stuff first? No. All right. We'll clean that up first. Then you could open that. I'm not going to have 43 things to clean up at the end of the night, babe. You got to help. You're a big girl. I'm making steaks. I have a whole roasting, I have a whole cauliflower in the oven roasted. These are castinis that I'm gonna just bake real quick. What else did you have to clean up? Okay, sounds good, bub. Now I'm gonna just season the steaks and let them sit. Any good vacation spots, like kid friendly or not kid friendly? I do. I have a pretty big oven, actually. I just threw my crostinis in there too. Up and down as a parent, just up and down all day. Cookies are here at my house. So. Are you trying to fly or are you trying to stay like road trip vibes? Cookies. I have to check the cookies. <sighs> cookies, Mariella. We can't burn Daddy's cookies. What the hell is in my coffee? Dina, how did your Barbie tool end up in my coffee? Sorry. I just can't make it. This was in my coffee, guys. This 
is in my closet. It's cleaning now. I gotta wash it. I won't lose it. The bottoms are definitely more brown than the top, but they'll be good. I'm gonna just salt up these steaks and then I'm gonna let them sit at room temperature. These were actually very nice steaks. Surprisingly, I got them at ShopRite. What? I told you it was Play-Doh, but what did you think it was? I know, it's supposed to be scented. I know. I bought that for you. Oh, surprisingly, the blueberry one smells like blueberries. That's good to know. That is so good to know. So these are, I'll just make two steaks and then our whole house will share these. Those I'm going to try to cook last minute. Cut out all day. I took her to breakfast. I took her to Target all day. Went to the park. I have a dog. Yes. I have one dog. She's a Lhasa Apso. She's an old lady. She's like 13 years old. She's old and stinky. It's 4.30 here. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. From Edison. Cool. I like to... They have a lot of good food in um, Edison. A lot of good Asian food. A lot of good Indian food. She's not a big blocker. She's old. She's around. She likes to just sleep and eat. That's all she likes. Once they get old, they kind of want to just be left alone. I w did medical billing and uh, coding. I'm 34. How old do I look? I haven't tried that barbecue place, but I heard it was very good. So I, I, I would definitely try it. I would definitely try it. Hi from Old Bridge. Another thing you need to keep an eye on, guys, is Christini's. They take super quick. So easy to burn them, especially if you put seasoning on them. Not a day past 30. I'll take it, guys. I mean, a little Botox doesn't hurt, you know? A little Botox never hurt nobody. Hello. Mm, Ponte Vecchio is good. That's where I had my daughter's christening. And they took very, very well care of us. Oh, sitting in traffic, that's the worst. I used to, when I first moved to Staten Island, I was working in Queens. And the traffic that I sat in, oh, that was like absolutely miserable. Hi from Sweden, that's so cool. 
Girl, you need Botox in your forehead? Go get some Botox in your forehead. You deserve it. Daddy is on his way home. I can. I. Daddy's on his way home. Wait, Daddy, you can play this part of the You can put it in the sink, my little lazy butt. Can you open two play for me? That's so cool. Can you can you open these two play Yeah, I mean, I didn't start getting both us at twenty five. I didn't need it then. Mom, can you open these two play? But I did start getting it like two years ago. I had a really bad wrinkle between my eyebrows and it like made me super self, self-conscious. self And the wrinkle was actually so bad that when I got the Botox, like the first few months, I still had the crease in my skin. But the Botox takes a few weeks to set in anyway. Botox is cheap too. It's like, you know, that filler is, what is, is what's expensive. I am making beautiful steaks that I have resting with salt. I am making crostinis with um, ricotta salata and caponata on them. And I am roasting a whole cauliflower. Can I have it? Yeah, take it. Where do you live? They're done. I'm just not gonna top them until they cool. Thank you guys. I am gonna be putting ricotta salata on them and um, eggplant um, caponata. So I'm just letting them cool before I top them because I don't want the cheese to melt. Not that ricotta salata is gonna melt. Do you recommend anywhere in NYC for Botox? Um, Dolce Aesthetics in Queens. That's not where I went or anything, but I do know the owner. Um, I don't know her, like, personally. I went to school with her kids. And I know, like, celebrities go there. But she's in Middle Village. Look her up. Emma. Yeah, babe. You have to go to the bathroom. This hurts. No, I'm here. What'd you do? You cut it too short? No, Mama. It, it hurts so badly. Can you give me a band-aid? Go get a band-aid. I'll do the sink. Jackson, New Jersey. Connecticut. That's awesome. Thank you. My day was chaotic like every other day. I mean, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's Valentine's Day. You know, my kids felt super special. And, you know, I, I, I feel special whatever every day with my husband. But... I'm still a parent, guys. I'm still literally cooking, cleaning, taking my kid from activity to activity, taking care of my six-month-old. It's just a regular Tuesday on this side of town. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Um, I don't know my husband's sign, but he is a queer. He is um, born September 6th, so you tell me what that is. And, my, and I'm Aquarius. Why is it scaring you? Do you not want a baby? I do have a cleaning lady that comes to my house like once a month. And she does like deep clean.
up the thicker. You heard me? He's a Virgo, so tell me about it. Cause he's really dope, my husband. Your boyfriend's been asking you to have a baby. Tell your boyfriend to marry you first. Does your boyfriend have a good job? Cause if he has a good job, then we can talk about it. But kids are expensive. Yeah, kid, and especially if you need to be in like an amazing space in your own relationship to survive kids. I'm telling you. Let me get you your teeth. This. This. I'm gonna have to get off here, guys. Yeah, listen, if he has a good job and you guys are gonna get married, I, I'm like, I mean, I don't know how how old you are, but why wait? <laughs> I mean, don't ask me. I just feel like the, 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 the younger you are, if you're settled and you're financially can, you know, handle it, you're mentally in a good spot in your relationship, what are you waiting for? I'm telling you right now, though, once you have kids, your life is not your life. Um, I'm not having any more kids, but if I was going to have a boy, I was going to name him Ciro. And I also love the girl name. I love Julia with a G. And I love um, Isla. I-S-L-A. Love that. I feel like this day and age, if you're dating somebody... I don't want to say, like, this does sound kind of shallow. Like, not that if he's not making, a, like, good good money, you know, you should leave him. But if you're dating somebody who's not motivated to do better for himself, right? Like, if he's motivated and he's trying his hardest and the world is just fucking hard right now, I totally get that. But if you're, like, settling for your 14-hour Adala, you know, job because you're not motivated, that's a different story. You have no life after kids. And when you have two kids, you really have no life. Because at least when I only had one, I was working. But now I'm, I'm, I'm home, so I, I really have no life. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just feel like you have to have kids. Like um, You're never going to be completely ready, and that's just the truth. But... You also have to like somewhat know what you're getting yourself into. You know what I mean? Right, Mariella? So hard. I'm still not even sure who I am besides being a mom right now because I'm just like so deep into it. Like my kids are still young. Um, and that was hard for me to accept in the beginning, but I feel like now I'm like kind of just like, you know, your life is not your life. It is what it is. Like, and you should know that before you get into it. Even when you think you're completely com prepared for kids, you're never prepared. Trust me. Never. I'm drinking Tito's and I'll show you. This suja, strawberry guava juice, super good. I haven't been um, drinking during the week. I've just been having a drink on Friday and Saturdays. Like, that's our thing. Um, but it's Valentine's Day, guys. And I'm already home doing chores all day. Let me fucking at least enjoy a drink. Shit. You sacrifice your whole life when you become a parent, guys.
I will have a drink for you, girl. You got it. I feel like the transition from one kids, from zero kids to one was way harder than from one to two. A hundred percent. She's very observant, this kid. And I'm telling you, she's going to start walking or crawling any day because she's already on all fours. She's doing like the belly scoot and like the boot scoot, like the booty scoot. See, I think zero to one was the hardest because I was so like unsure and not confident in anything that I was like producing. So... Yeah, I can't relate to that because I was never the parent that left my kids with people to go party. Like, once you have a kid, I mean, I'm not saying I don't have fun. Like, me and my husband always make time for ourselves. That's, like, a really big thing. But it's not an everyday occurrence. It's, like, a once every two months, even if, you know? I was one and done for a while. Then I had, like, three miscarriages. And then I had her. Right? No, don't eat your back anymore. 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 Alright guys, it's been fun. I love you guys so much. And I, I, I really do enjoy hopping on live because I get to like interact with you guys on like a basis that I don't normally get to do. And I, I truly do enjoy being on live, but it's just so hard for me when I have both my kids by myself because I, as a parent, want to tend to my children and not sit on live, you know? If my kids are real quiet and chilling, then no problem. But, you know, you guys know, whoever's on this live, like, normally with me knows as soon as my kids start acting up, you know I'm out. So... I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day, okay? Get treated like the queens that you are. And we love you. I do have a pool. Bye, guys. Hopefully, I can hop back on tomorrow, okay? Say bye, Mariella. Serafina, say bye. bye. Have a great Valentine's Day, guys. I'll try to take pictures of the food. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.